In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the capture modes of Screenshot Captor. Now, by default, the program configures the print screen key on your keyboard to capture the current screen. So let's press that now, and we can see it's captured the current screen. If you've got multiple monitors, you might use the workspace capture mode. And of course, all of these are configured to hotkeys that you can change if you want. If we capture the entire workspace, you can see the program has stitched together my four monitors and captured them all. Often you just want to capture a small region of the screen. If you activate that mode, the cursor changes to a crosshairs, and we can capture just a small region here, and we can see it's captured that. Um, often you just want to capture the active window, um, so if you're using a specific program there, we've captured the current window without any background or extra stuff. You can also capture a Windows object, and I'll show you what that looks like. You can see that a red box now follows whatever area I've selected. If I pick a, a menu here and do control click, we can see it's captured just that menu region. You can also do a scrolling Windows capture. And here we've got the red box again, and I'm going to hit Control shift click And we can see the program is now going to try to determine the extent of the window, moving the scroll bars automatically. And then it will attempt to stitch together the window. Now, if you're using a browser, there are actually some good add-ons to do this. But for other programs, it can be invaluable. And um, there are actually other capture modes, and you can choose whether to capture the cursor or not, whether you need a delay, and you can capture specific, uh, specific sizes if you do that often. And of course, all of these hotkeys can be configured, and you can activate them through the system tray as well.